So for today's video, I'm going to be turning myself into half human, half alien. So if you um, have never seen this before, I will link my um, reference photo right here. Her YouTube, she doesn't really have too many videos, she only has about 8 videos, but she has some really cool looks and I wanted to uh, recreate one of her looks. Her name is um, uh, With Love Nadia. So I am going to be trying to recreate this. It looks really fun. It looks pretty simple. Um, looks very straightforward. So I'm going to be following her makeup tutorial. It looks fairly easy. <laughs> Fingers crossed that I can actually do it. The only thing that's going to be different in my video than hers is I don't have a glue stick. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using liquid glue and hopefully it works the same and I can powder it and I hopefully I don't lose my eyebrow because that would really suck if I did. So. I think that's, I believe that's the first thing she does. She powders, she uses a glue stick on her eyebrow and then she powders it with powder. So that's what I'm gonna do. Life. All right, so this is the part where she takes her liquid latex and she begins her look. So I am using the brand Ben Nye, ben Nye Liquid Latex, it's the brand that I always use. I get it at my local um, costume store called uh, Carrie's Costumes, but if you obviously don't live in the Edmonton area, then you can order it online off of Amazon or wherever you want. I don't know when that stopped, so I just put a line down my face of liquid latex and then I put liquid latex over my eyebrow where we glued it down and then she lays cotton over top. So I'm just unraveling cotton balls right now and going to be putting that over top. I do think I need to wash out this bowl though because the blood that was left over in it is turning my latex pink. So. Life. And then she just goes down the center pieces that she did down her face with some cotton. So that's what I'm going to do. Now on the cheek, she does the exact same thing, but she like knocks out little lines right here and creates almost like uh, gills for the alien. it all around in this area. She brings it all down. I think I built this up a little bit too much. Hers doesn't quite look like this, but we will see. Okay, she basically waits until this is fully dry and then she goes in and cuts it open and makes the torn um, effect. So I need to wait for it to dry, so I'm going to quickly go do this side of my makeup. You guys don't really need to see this, me do this side because it's just going to be something very simple. So I'm going to go do that really quickly and I will be right back. Okay, so once she has this side of her face done, she just goes back in with some latex. So let me get some more. And she connected the gill part to um, her eye part, so I'm just going to do that quickly and build it up with a little bit of cotton. She's a, hers looks way better than mine. <laughs> but I wanted to try it anyway. I'm just gonna connect it down to that one. So 
is a lot of just molding it to whatever you guys want. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. I'm just trying to connect the eyepiece to the gills and bring the gills up a little bit. So yeah, something like that. And then she goes in and she cuts down the liquid latex and kind of, kind of makes like a torn skin effect. So make sure your latex is dry and then use fairly sharp scissors and you can cut open the latex. But I think I might skip that. So I think I'm just gonna skip that part and just move on. She also went down her neck, but I'm not gonna be doing that. I, I don't really care. I'm just gonna do my face. I don't wanna do my whole neck with latex because it does bother my skin a little bit. So now this is the part that is going to be the hardest, I think, because she goes around her eye with liquid latex. So I'm gonna try and do that right now. Now, be very careful at this part because you don't want to get liquid latex in your eye and you certainly don't want to have a reaction to it. So I'm just going to go around probably to about there. And then she made a eye patch out of liquid latex. I don't have that. I just have a regular eye patch that I ordered online. So that's what I'm going to use. So it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting though, so I'm gonna cut it down to size. So just putting my eye patch on and that's gonna be my alien eye. And now we can start painting. So I am going to start painting my body with the different colors that I have. So I have reds, and uh, reds. I have greens and teals. So I'm using Meron's, uh, Meron's body paint. And then I also have black for my eye. So I'm gonna go in using where do my brush go? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna go in using the blues and greens to make the desired color that I want and start painting my alien. Probably only gonna go to about there just because I don't feel like going down my entire body. Probably gonna go to about there. So now that we have the green painted and all the latex painted, you can see why we did the latex. It looks cool once the paint is over it and it just gives some like really interesting texture. Um, hers obviously looked a lot better than mine, but I am not a professional. I've never had any training when it comes to latex and I'm just trying my best here. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go over top of the eye portion with black. So let me find a brush to do that. Went a little bit too far down in some parts, but that's okay. Gives it an interesting look. So. I have a really big alien eye. So now I am going to go over it with some highlight. Once the paint is dry, I think it is fairly dry. So I am gonna grab my Jeffree Star uh, highlight palette and I'm gonna go over the parts that I used the liquid latex on, so this area. go into a little bit of the James Charles palette. I'm going to go into some of the blue and green. I'm going to go into the, the, set, the darkest green in the palette and the darkest blue in the palette. I'm just going to contour my cheeks a little bit. And 
then I'm gonna go grab my actual contour palette and do this side really quickly. The last thing that I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna smudge out some of underneath my eye just to give it a little bit more of a dramatic effect. And I already did my highlight on this side. So I think this is the finished look. The last thing that I need to do is throw on a lipstick. So I think on this side, she did a red lip, so I'm gonna go grab a red lip. I'm just gonna throw on a red lip really quickly. And then to finish the look on the left side, I'm just gonna quickly go in with some of the Alien Ice highlight. And then take my hair out, which I'm pretty sure is still wet from this morning. And this is the finished Alien look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know how I'm going to edit this or if it's going to be a voiceover or what I'm going to do because a lot of the video I wasn't really talking. I was just kind of doing it. Um, so it definitely didn't turn out nearly as good as hers did, but I tried my best and this lipstick is really messy, but that's okay. I wanted it to be kind of a interesting experience so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this and i will see you guys at the next video bye